In this video I'm going to show you how to fix your earphone jack on your iPod. Now before you do this, if you have a problem with your earphone jack, meaning that your earphones aren't working, or sometimes it's a very common problem that you don't hear it in one ear, first you want to make sure that your earphones are working, so replace those, or just use a different pair of earphones and see if they work. And if they still don't work, the next thing you want to try is to reset and restore your iPod to factory settings. Now this will erase everything on the iPod, but it could be that your iPod is corrupted, and that might work. So if you have everything backed up on your computer anyway, you just have to load everything back on, you, want, you might want to try that. If that doesn't work, then you have to get more serious. You might have to replace the earphone jack. So let's get started. and. I'll show you how to do that. What you see here is an iPod 4th generation, classic iPod. All right. Now this is basically going to work for all classic iPods, including the 5th and 6th generation video versions. And basically the inside is pretty similar, the components are similar, so this should enable you and should assist you in repairing the earphone jack on those models as well. So let's get started here. This iPod is already opened. If you want to know how to open the iPod, I put a link on how to open the iPod in case you need assistance with that. So let's open this up. Now this is already separated. There's a ribbon cable that connects to this area over here. So here you basically all you have to do is gently just pull it out and that comes out and this will give you easier access to the earphone jack assembly over here so it's best just to pull that right out it's a plug you just gently pull it out so it's, it'll be out like that the ribbon cable is important so be careful because that's what interfaces this part of the iPod from this part so what you have to do is now if you look you'll see that you have two screws you have one here and you have one so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove the two screws first over here. Now these screws, as you see here, these are star bolts. They have a star fitting. Now you have Phillips and slot head, those are the common ones. This is a star. So let me just show you what the bit looks like and what you're going to need to remove these. This bit T7 bit. I got this from Craftsman. It comes in a set. That's what the that's what the tip looks like. And this is the driver. It just slides right in here, like that. This is the other ones, other size. That's that's the size T7. So let's start removing them. that one okay there's one there's one here just take this out now basically you really don't have to remove the white piece. The white piece is basically the hold button assembly. So this is it. What you see here is the earphone jack. Okay? Let me show you. You see? The top of the iPod. Here's the hold. On, hold, off, hold. Here's where your earphone jack was, right here. That's where the earphones go in, so it goes right into here. So if this is not working, you know, of course this is soldered in to the circuit board, but unless you have excellent and, I mean, professional soldering skills, I wouldn't mess with this. It's not even practical if you do. What you should do is just replace this whole piece. 
you don't even need the ribbon cable the ribbon cable can come out just by lifting this clip up it comes out so you just need this piece right here and it already has the earphone jack now you might be able to find these online you can buy them people are selling parts you could just buy this if you can find it I recommend to buy the whole iPod they sell them broken online too I've seen them and there's a good chance that this might work these things don't go bad that often they're pretty durable just get the whole iPod take this out and use it to fix yours and then there's a, some other parts that you could probably use in the other one that you buy as well so that's my best advice and then the next thing to do is once you take this out just replace it you know just put it right back into the housing and that's it put the screw in there the screw in there and the corner just reverse the, all the steps that I showed you and it should be right back in place so there you have it, how to replace and repair your iPod earphone jack. I hope you found this video useful to you. Please show your support for this channel by subscribing, rate this video, and feel free to leave comments, and thank you for tuning in.